Hi everyone, I'm Mike and welcome back to Door 49. In this how-to video, we will demonstrate how to convert a Von Duper Mechanical 33, 35, 98 or 99 series exit device to an electric latch operation known as an EL device. Both the EL and the quiet version, the QEL, provide convenient remote locking or unlocking capabilities, also known as dogging. This function allows the electrified exit device to be connected to an access control system, automatic operator, or fire alarm system. It's important to note that the converted devices will maintain their UL panic or fire listing after this quick and easily accomplished field installation. We offer separate conversion kits for both EL and QEL devices in 3-foot and 4-foot options. The EL and the QEL kit part numbers are provided in the descriptions below. In addition to a power supply, the electrified device also requires a power transfer from the door to the frame. The EL kit used in this demonstration contains the following. The new EL base plate, connecting pin, retaining ring, and base plate screws. The potted module inserted between the base plate and power supply, and the power cable. The tools we're going to use are as follows. Multi-tip screwdriver or Phillips and flat screwdriver. Long nose pliers, small flat screwdriver. Here we have a Von Duper 9899. Same applies for the 3335 device. If the device is on the door, you will need to remove it. Remove the four screws of the center case cover. Remove the two end cap screws and the two end cap bracket screws. These bracket screws hold the device on the door. With the center case open, remove the other four screws that secure the center case to the door, then remove the reinforcing bracket. Next, remove the two base plate screws using a flat screwdriver or an 8mm socket wrench included in our 6-in-1 Schlag screwdriver. Slide the mechanism cover off then slide the mechanism case off. Note the two plastic tabs sliding onto the push bar ends, up and down. These have to be reinstalled during assembly. Slide the push bar towards the center case and disengage. The base plate assembly is now exposed. We have to remove the main link retaining ring and pin. Note that the link pin is using the hole nearest to the center case. Insert a small flat screwdriver to the top of the ring. Lift it up and remove it. Then push out the connecting pin. The center case is connected to the base plate using two screws. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws to separate the two. Now you are ready for reassembly. What I have here is an EL conversion kit base plate that is going to transform my exit device into an EL device. First step of the reassembly is to attach the center case to the new EL base plate. Utilize the two screws we just removed. Pay attention to the holes used. They are the second row of holes in the base plate. Next, we have to connect the main link using the link pin. Pay special attention to where the link pin is installed in the first hole of the main link. If installed in the second, your latch will stay half retracted all the time. To install the retaining ring, position it in the groove, then use the long nose pliers to push it firmly in position. To install the push bar, the two tabs have to be inserted in the bell crank slots. The two plastic tabs we removed earlier have to be installed at both ends of the push bar like this. They can only be installed one way. The easier way to install the push bar is if you do it upside down so you have visibility of the tabs. Push on the mechanism to make sure it works. It will feel a bit sluggish due to the weight of the device upside down, but that is normal. Make sure that the two push pad guides move easily. Now you are ready to install the mechanism case. The base plate assembly slides into the mechanism case using the groove at the bottom. 
Once you reach the push bar, make sure the push pad guide slides inside the case. Make sure the second guide slides inside the center case. Guide with your hand. Push or operate to make sure the push bar moves easily. Next, install the center case bracket and the two screws attaching it to the case. The second bracket, called the reinforcing bracket, gets installed in the center case as well. They will be held in place by four screws connecting the exit device to the door or outside trim. Once the exit is reinstalled on the door, the center case cover can be replaced. It uses four screws. At this point, we have an electrified exit device that requires a power connection. Wires coming out of the solenoid have a quick release connector to simplify the attachment of the potted module. You can see the old version of this right here. Connect the potted module and push it inside the case. A power cord is provided as part of the kit. Connect the power cord to the case. The mechanism case cover slides into the groove. Pay special attention not to pinch the wires. The power cable will exit this end of the device and go through the retaining bracket using the space provided. The bracket slides into the bottom groove. You can see how the cable will exit the exit device and enter the door. An extra hole has to be provided for this step. The bracket screws are installed and power cable run through the door. The final step is installing the end cap using the two end cap screws. Be sure and check out our price book for compatible power supplies and full range of accessories. Hope this is useful. This is Mike and thanks for watching Door 49. Make sure to check out some of the history behind our brands like LCN, Schlage, and Von Dupren, and check out our other how-to videos.